Hello and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer and this is the local roundup. Cannabis and classical music? Who would have thunk? But you're not high in the sky. The Colorado Symphony is set for a new series called Classically Cannabis, the High Note Series, where the orchestra will magically accompany marijuana. But it's strictly BYOC, bring your own cannabis, because you won't be able to buy it at the concession stand. Another old institution is going through big changes. After 110 years of tradition, the Tour de France is switching things up. Olympic and world champion Marion Voss helped start a petition last year to create an equal racing ground. And July 27th marks the first La Course by Le Tour de France, a women's only race. It starts just hours after the male riders cross the finish line. Mancus is encountering some growing pains. The town will now welcome Family Dollar because of new zoning regulations, although the new regulations are a bit hairy on what's allowed and what isn't. Now Mancus will allow theaters and performing art spaces, but will not welcome new churches, daycares, schools, market gardens, and more in certain areas. Residents have mixed feelings about the regulations. Confusion is probably the first reaction. Many are baffled by airline baggage fees. Frontier Airlines will resume its Durango to Denver flights on May 16th, and Frontier's new strategy may have cut nonstop flights by 12%, but the small stuff adds up. Now, you will have to check a bag at $25 when purchasing online. If not, it'll be $35 at check-in or $50 if you forget and bring it all the way to the gate. So either pack lightly or prepare for the investment. And FLC decided not to give big oil and gas companies the boot. The foundation's reasoning? They believe it would have little impact and could be embarrassing if FLC asked if they could have money down the road. A student group petitioned the Fort Lewis College Foundation Board to cut investment ties in oil, natural gas, and coal. The students of FLC Divest now may start a sit-in to push their divestment demands. Later today on In the Neighborhood, two unlikely friends come together. So this is Cole. Cole is just a dog. That's what we call him. He's obviously not a wolf. He doesn't know he's not a wolf. He tries to howl. He throws his head back and goes, oh, oh, huh. You try to howl, don't you? Don't you? Um, we called them Beauty and the Beast. Guess which one he was. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret takes us inside Wolfwood Refuge just south of Durango. That's today on In the Neighborhood at 3 p.m. Thanks for watching the local roundup on FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer. We'll see you tomorrow.